Nigeria would have gone through hardship under me too, but it won't be as it is today. Peter Obi slams Tunubu. Yes, um, Peter Obi is trying to be sincere as well by saying that, um, yes, of a truth, him too would have done the same, but um, in his own case, it wouldn't have been the way it is in Tunubu's administration. Um, he said it that even him, him too would have removed the subsidy, but it will be removed wisely. Don't forget that Peter Obi is not just a politician, but also a very good economist who understand the do and don't, and also who understand the scale of preference very well. So um, having him as a president would have... Um, Yes, just like he said, there will be hardship, but it will be done in a very wise way. Um, you see, this subsidy of 18, it's a very good policy. It's a very good policy, but um, taking that very decision demands for wisdom. It demands economic um, advice, you know. You know, one doesn't just take such a decision and allow it to be. This is a decision that controls uh, when and um, that controls period. You understand? The period and time it should be declared. The time and period it was declared was not. It was. It's not a healthy. It's not, it's not healthy. You understand now? It's not a healthy time and period. This is a time when things already are at, at the point of melting down. The economy is already at the point of meltdown. So Tunubu is, would, uh, wouldn't have um, you know, um, declared it when the economy is already at meltdown. So that's why you saw that everything is closing up now that he has already declared. Let's let's, let's listen to Peter Obi and know um, what he's trying to say actually on this content. This is Morning News. The former presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, speaking in a Twitter space on Saturday, stated that Nigerians would have gone through some hardship if he was president as well. He, however, noted that the hardship would never have been as it is today. According to him, the problem facing the implementation of good policies in Nigeria is the strong root of corruption. He pointed out that politicians need to be deliberate in ensuring that the, corporate, the country revenue is managed properly. He said, before you start any form of policy, there must be a good formulation and implementation. And this does not mean Nigerians are not going to go through hardship and difficulties. Nigerians would have gone through under me, but it won't be as it is today. What we have today is that we are trapped in the process of the thinking of yesterday. And if you are trapped in that process, you will not see tomorrow. The number one problem is corruption. If all politicians decide to end it, it will end it. We would ensure that all the revenue of this country are accounted for and judiciously Utilized. Peter, we have a point. Understand? If all politicians agree, or I mean, if they all agree that this corruption should come to a stop, it will come to a stop. So everything now depends on the politicians. If the politicians uh, say they don't want it to come to pass to stop, then. It's to stop. If 
out of 100 politicians and let's say 10 is in support eh? and um and um five are not are, are not in support it will not work it must be equal in fact the ones supporting should be should be um uh, 70 percent ahead of the one that not supporting you understand so that's just so i want to comment peter will be on this fairness and sincerity because he has spoken like who actually knows what it takes to be a leader all right so please uh, people based on this very matter let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take what your opinion and what your advice on this may actually be don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you